Hi, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can actually create progress bar using the latest Notion feature. So you can see here there's like a nice progress bar here at 50% and then you can see the bar. So it looks very nice. So you want to replicate this. So the first example we have here at the top is just a completed. So this is just number of tasks that you completed in their total. And then how you can actually achieve this formula is just prop completed divided by prop total. And then you get this number. And then how you can actually make the percentage uh, bar appears is just click here and then click edit property and then here you can see there's like a number format so first thing you have to change to percent and then you have to change it to bar alternatively you can change the ring you can change the color so it doesn't really matter and that's it sounds simple right then we probably can end this video but then there's one problem though so when you change the total let's say you change to 11 12 13, 14, you can see there's a problem here. There's a lot of integer space here. And then we want it to round it up so that we don't show all this long integer. So hopefully we can just see that maybe 35. In this case, maybe just round it up to 36. So how can we do that? So initially my first instinct was just, okay, I can just use the round function inside Notion formula. So if I round it up, everything will become nice and clean. But is that the case though? So at the middle, you can see here we have 5, 10, and then this formula is round prop completed divided by prop total. As you can see, it's actually showing 100%. It's not showing what we want. And for 11, it becomes 0%. But then I just found this very helpful Reddit guide. I'll show you the link below. So what he shows is that instead of just round it directly, so what you can do is just round it. So bracket 100 times completed divided by total, bracket, you need divided by 100. So which is the example below. So you can see here, it's going to be the same. And then now when we change the number, you can see that it's being rolled up. It's only what we wanted. So this is the formula that you can use for your next progress bar formula. So I hope you enjoy the watch and have a nice day.